In today's video, I'll answer your question, what does it mean that Jesus is the Son of God? Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. Jesus is not God's Son in the sense of a human father and son. God did not get married and have a son. God did not meet with Mary and together with her produce a son. Jesus is God's son in the sense that he is God made manifest in human form. Jesus is God's son in that he was conceived in Mary by the Holy Spirit. Luke chapter 1 verse 35 declares, The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. During his trial before the Jewish leaders, the high priest demanded of Jesus, I charge you under oath by the living God, tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Matthew chapter 26, verse 63. Yes, it is as you say, Jesus replied, but I say to all of you, in the future you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One and coming on the clouds of heaven. Matthew chapter 26, verse 64. The Jewish leaders responded by accusing Jesus of blasphemy. Later, before Pontius Pilate, the Jews insisted, We have a law, and according to that law, he must die, because he claimed to be the Son of God. John chapter 19, verse 7. Why would his claiming to be the Son of God be considered blasphemy and be worthy of a death sentence? The Jewish leaders understood exactly what Jesus meant by the phrase, Son of God. To be the Son of God is to be of the same nature as God. The Son of God is of God. The claim to be of the same nature as God, to in fact be God, was blasphemy to the Jewish leaders. Therefore, they demanded Jesus' death, in keeping with Leviticus chapter 24, verse 15. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3 expresses this very clearly. The Son is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being. Another example can be found in John chapter 17, verse 12, where Judas is described as the son of perdition. John chapter 6, verse 71 tells us that Judas was the son of Simon. What does John chapter 17, verse 12 mean by describing Judas as the son of perdition? The word perdition means destruction, ruin, waste. Judas was not the literal son of ruin, destruction, and waste, but those things were the identity of Judas' life. Judas was a manifestation of perdition. In this same way, Jesus is the Son of God. The Son of God is God. Jesus is God made manifest. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There you'll find one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.